Well, hello guys, Aquatic Let's Plays and Reviews here, and I have a data pack tutorial review for you guys today, and we're here on Ninjago Craft so that we can test it out properly, and so we're here, and we have this villager in this glass testing chamber. He is a savanna villager, because we're located in a savanna. And the skin is representing uh -huh. that, if you did not know. The villagers now have biome-dependent skins based on their biome. Uh -huh. And I'm going to be educating you a little bit on the villager uh -huh. trading system today. A little bit. So, uh, as you know, trade villagers uh -huh. got a revamp in 1.14. Um, they now require a trading post or job thing, job site, which is anything that looks like this. A loom, a barrel, a smoker, a blast furnace, a cartography table, sledging table, grindstone, fishing table, stone cutter, the bell and the ain't one, lantern ain't one, and a campfire ain't one. So these ones and... This light turn right here are all job sites. So this one is how to make custom villager trades. Now, if I was to spawn in a villager now that it's past 1.13 and they don't have a job site around, they will look exactly like that. But if I get a job site here huh. and let's say that I get the grindstone because I really like the grindstone villager he looks cool he has an eye patch huh. and I am going to put him in somewhere so that you can observe huh. the way that he looks so let's just build that up here huh. and just move this out of the way here. Uh, so we have him here. Uh, and we gotta put the grindstone uh, close to him. He should change. In theory, he should change profession. Uh, uh, I'm gonna put it right there. Uh, he, sh he should change. Uh, there you go. Uh, so let's just put him on there. And let's get him to turn around here. Huh. Huh. Villagers, they don't want to always obey you. So, okay. So now he has the eye patch on. Huh. You may notice that uh, this is huh. a little bit different. Huh? So this is the... Now they have a thing that you have to level up. Huh. So you have to get some emeralds here. And you have to level them up. This is kind of a quick tutorial on how to do that as well. Um, for you who aren't familiar with the new trading system. I'm still learning it. So we'll give you that. Then he will level up based on his little eye patch or little thing there. And... Till you give him enough that he locks that out. And then once you level him up, he will upgrade his trades. He will upgrade the trades here. He will... See, he switched the trades now. Now you need some coal here. I didn't really plan on teaching this part, but uh, yeah, now he's uh, changed some stuff. I didn't think I hit him. Maybe he's giving me discounts. I, I don't think I uh, hit him. 
So you get that, and you get, yeah, it discounts, because you higher, here now. You just keep going with that. So what you want to do here, and we can get rid of him now. Now that you kind of know the basic premise. Oh, by the way, I've got mob heads installed. So that should work. Some of them should it work. I'll be doing a basic tutorial on that as well. So hopefully that kind of works. It is kind of a little bit older of a version. But uh, yeah, now that you know how that works. So now we have to place about nine items here. First is the one you give. First two you give in the slot. Then is the third one that you do. And you do that for the first three rows here. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the thing to work. Let's just, we're making some bonker trades here. Um, we're making some crazy uh, trades here that make absolutely no sense that you wouldn't get in legitimate survival because this is more of a uh, creative based thing Exuma Void says so you would never be seeing these what I'm doing here So now you have that. Your blast furnace equals anvil equals dragon head. Now that's kind of a stupid thing if you ask me. But yeah. That's basically how you do it. So let's just get one. The blast furnace. Anvil. Blast furnace. And it levels it up. It keeps going. And you, the more you put in there, the more advanced huh. trades it's going to have. So, uh, yeah, let's just see here. So, smithing table, slime huh? block, and weather skeleton skull. Worst trades ever. Huh. But. I was just choosing that for an example. Huh. I mean, in survival, if you were to get some actually good items, it would huh. it would be uh, pretty uh, OP to get a do that. Uh -huh. Huh. Huh. So, yeah, you could essentially make a ton of these huh? and get as many dragon eggs as you want dragon head as you essentially wanted. So let's look huh. at the third thing here. Bell, sugar box, and player head equals player head. Huh. Huh. And I'm guessing they can that, that registers as any shulker box. Just a purple one. Huh. Huh. No, it's the uh, has to be the purple one, I guess. Huh. Huh. So you get that, huh? 
that, and that, and so on and so forth. Now, we can clear this. Take them all out. And he goes right back to being a normal idiot of a villager. So, yeah, that's basically all I have for this uh, video. It's going to just uh, be kind of a basic thing. If you wanted to set up a shop on the server, you could do that. And uh, so, you know. Um, I wonder if... Uh, yeah, okay, let's just do that again one more time. So that I can confirm that it works. Let's just get a good trade. What would be, what would in the, uh, let's just say, hmm, you want to get some really OP items? Honestly, I don't know what to give him. So I kind of want that to be the third thing. Let's just go with what I had. So we put that in the... Like that. Let's do quick charge. Loyalty. And mending for the second one. I really don't know. Okay, so potions here. You're really wanting to make you're wanting to make a combat villager. Huh. Fire resistance. Invisibility. Huh. Huh. You squat. And there you go. Oh, it kind of, I guess it kind of mixes them up. It doesn't allow you to have a uh, certain thing. So, yeah, that's how it does it. Like, even though that I... Uh, okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. So, that's how you do it. I might use this as a shop. So, yeah, that'd be really cool. So, please comment, like, and subscribe. It would have to be a creative mode shop. Kind of, so I would have to kind of do stuff off screen. Uh, but, yeah. Um, that's how you do it. It's a pretty cool data pack. And, uh, I also have treasure gems that I might try to make a video on. And the mob head video. I don't know if the mob head is going to work completely. It seems to work. When I kill that villager, it worked. So, yeah. Some things it might work for, some things it won't. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you next time. Bye. Also, credit to Exuma Void. The link to the Vanilla Tweaks website where I got this from will be in the description. Bye.